Dear fellow saints and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, greetings in the name of our Lord. Today's devotion for December 29th comes from 1 Timothy chapter 5, and the theme is Provide for Your Relatives. St. Paul writes, Command these things as well so that they may be without reproach. But if anyone does not provide for his relatives, and especially for members of his household, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. Let a widow be enrolled if she is not less than 60 years of age, having been the wife of one husband and having been having a reputation for good works. If she has brought up children, has shown hospitality, has washed the feet of the saints, has cared for the afflicted, and has devoted herself to every good work. Here, St. Paul is guiding the church in how to conduct themselves as or in their relationships with each other. And so he talks about how the head of the household should be someone who will provide for their relatives and especially for those within their own house. They should raise them up in the faith. They should discipline their children in love and encourage them to good works. And they should reward them when they behave well and provide for the needs, both physical and spiritual, of their family. And when they have extended family that is struggling, whether it's financially or with health, health issues or any other way, they should care for them and show the love of Christ for the members of their family. And then St. Paul extends this to the family of the church. And he talks about widows who have been a good example of faith because they have brought up children, shown hospitality and cared for the afflicted. And he says that they should be enrolled. In other words, that the church should care for the widow and the orphan among them, that this way they can demonstrate love within the community of faith, just as they demonstrate love for the members of their own family. And by doing these good works, they show the love of Christ to the world, and they will be without reproach. Let us pray to the Lord who has brought us into the family of faith, eternal Lord God. In the fullness of time, you sent forth your son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem us and give us the adoption as your sons and heirs. Give us grace to rejoice in Christ's blessed incarnation and grant us a glad new year. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, from whom all fatherhood on earth is named, bless the families of all Christians with your promises. Bless all widows, orphans, and broken families also with your mercy and give them joy in the redemption you have won for us in Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious Lord, receive our prayers for those who suffer from loneliness. Comfort them with the sure and certain knowledge that they will never be forsaken by you. Give them family and friends within the household of faith with whom they can find loving companionship. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things, blessed Lord, we pray you to grant us according to your merciful goodness and for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us go in our Lord's peace and joy as we celebrate Christmas and prepare for this new year which the Lord has made. Amen.